Hey guys, welcome to Financial Health and Wealth, where we educate you in various ways to improve your life financially and to live long, healthy lives. So today we're going to talk about whether a balance transfer is worth it. And if you'd like to see more of this type of content, then like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and so you know more about future videos. So let's get started. If you have established credit, you've probably received some offers in the mail for a balance transfer with rates as low as 0%. But don't get too excited yet. That 0% rate won't last. You're also likely to find out there's a one-time balance transfer fee of 3 to 5% of the transfer amount. We all know the fine print matters a lot, but let's look at some other considerations. Now, what is a balance transfer? To attract new customers, credit card companies often send offers inviting credit card holders to transfer a balance to their company. These offers may have teaser or introductory rates, which can help reduce overall interest costs. Now let's look at teaser rate versus real interest rate. After the teaser rate expires, the real interest rate is going to apply. The first thing to check is if it's higher or lower than your current interest rate. If it's higher, you probably don't need to read the rest of the offer and you could just toss it in the shredder. <laughs> But if you think you can pay off the balance off before the introductory rate expires, taking the offer might make sense. However, if your balance is small, a focused approach to paying off your existing card without transferring the balance might serve you better than opening a new credit account. If after the introductory rate expires, the interest rate is lower than what you're paying now, it's worth reading the offer further. Now, the balance transfer fee is another factor. Many balance transfers have a one-time balance transfer fee of up to 5% of the transferred amount. Now that can add up quickly. On a transfer of $10,000, the transfer fee could be 300 to 500, which may be enough to make you think twice. However, the offer still might have value if what you're paying in interest currently works out to be more. Now, the real savings with balance transfer offers becomes evident if you transfer to a lower rate card, but maintain the same payment amount, or even better, a higher amount. If you're paying the minimum or just over the minimum on the old card and continue to pay just the minimum with the new card, the balance might still linger for a long time. However, if you were paying $200 per month on the old card and you continue with the $200 per month payment on the new card at a lower interest rate, the balance will go down faster, which could save you money and interest. For example, if you transfer a $10,000 balance from a 15% card to a new card with a 0% APR for 12 months and a 12% APR thereafter, while keeping the same monthly payment of $200, you would save nearly $3,800 in interest charges. Even if the new card has a 3% balance transfer fee, the savings would still be $3,500. Not too bad. Now, if you're considering a balance transfer offer, use an online calculator to make the math easier. Also, be aware you might be able to negotiate the offer to perhaps earning a lower balance transfer fee or no fee at all, or a lower interest rate. It costs nothing to ask. So thanks for watching. And as always, hit the like and subscribe buttons and keep getting future content. And go ahead and tap that notification bell while you're at it. Enjoy the rest of your day.